This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Um, I guess, KJ, uh, obviously you're going back to your home state. You had a, a great game there two years ago. And just kind of wonder what, what are your feelings about going back and playing Ole Miss and, you know, you're going back to your home state? I uh, feel pretty good. I mean, just knowing that I'm going to have a lot of support in the stands, uh, family and friends that I've never seen me play in person. So it's going to be kind of cool to for them to get a chance to come out and uh, see me play uh, live uh, in a college football game. So looking forward to it. I feel like it's going to be an electric atmosphere. It's going to be fun. And I'm just looking forward to getting down there. And for both of you guys, maybe KJ and then Nathan, you could take it. You know, obviously last week was Rockets' first game back for a while. Um, How do you think he handled that? And what do you see from him this week? Do you feel like maybe he's a little more ready to to break out, uh, you know, a second game back from the injury? Uh, I feel like uh, he was he was pretty ready. Like you said, I mean, like he said himself, I mean, he just wanted to knock the rust out, get back into the rhythm of things. Uh, it's kind of hard, like, sitting out and then trying to come back and then pick up where you left off. Uh, so uh, he just, this week, I mean, he's approached it uh, like a vet, uh, been very mature about the situation and uh, just been working his tail off in practice and, Focus on a little small detail that's going to help separate him and help get him into a groove early, early on in the game. So he can play a huge factor in the game. So he's been uh, having a great week so far. And uh, like I said, I mean, just knocking the rust off and get back into the uh, rhythm of things and get back to playing how he want to play. And Nathan, you got a thought on that? Uh, well, I just agree with KJ there. He's taking it like a vet. You know, he he had a great comeback against a and and I expect nothing less for him to do the same against Ole Miss and, you know, take off from there. Thanks, Tom. Uh, hey, KJ, um, we saw Patrick Kudis, uh working at first team center. Just wonder what you think about what it's like taking the snaps from him and how that's working so far this week. Oh, it's been good. I'm, uh, we made a couple of adjustments uh, up front, and uh, those guys have handled it well. Um, the main thing is being able to uh, make sure uh, PK is uh, building confidence, uh, getting his confidence level up each and every day, uh, him getting back at center and making sure he's on the right um, – everybody's on the right page as far as communication with him and me telling him uh, just, you know what I'm saying, take it one play at a time, start with the snap first, and then just let your confidence build up and just let your instincts take over at that point. So, I mean, he's been doing a really good job. The guys around him have uh, been positive, giving him positive feedback to make sure his uh, confidence level is uh, going through the roof. So, it's been so so good so far. Hey, Nathan, the team periods, what have you seen from the, the movement that there's been on the O-line this week? Uh, definitely seen it. It's it's gone smoothly. Um, you can definitely tell PK is really getting used to that spot, and then things are starting to set in place too as we get into Tuesday, and I'm sure tomorrow. But it's been smooth transition from uh, from a skill standpoint, and communication has been well as well there. Cool. Hey, kind of a two part question, Nathan. Um, what's the room been like? You know, losing Luke the way you did last week, and then kind of what have you seen from Coach Pittman? Said basically open competition at tight end this week. Yeah, you know, it was really unfortunate to lose Luke, but, you know, he's in good spirits and he's going to be right back. He had a great start to the season, and I expect him to take off once he gets back from there. But, you know, we're keeping the same uh, schedule as normal. You know, every week's a competition, and we're going to continue that just with a little more edge this week and, you know, lock in on the details as well. Cool. Hey, my last question. Y'all know how crazy this series has been. I mean, uh, the last two years have been wild games. Uh, the Henry Heave in 2015 is probably one of the biggest plays in Arkansas history. KJ, what what maybe is there about this rivalry that kind of brings out some craziness, you think? Uh, I feel like it's just um, SEC for one. And then uh, just every time we play Ole Miss, it's always uh, a shootout. It's always uh, a battle. It's always a war. And it's always excitement. I mean, that's what you come to the SEC for. Uh, so it's just two uh, great teams just battling and let it, let, it, uh, let it all hang out. So. Looking forward Nathan, to it. Your, th your thoughts, Nathan, about the wildness that has taken place in this series? Yeah, you know, there's always going to be fireworks in that game. And I think both teams play with the chip on their shoulder in that you got to expect to go out there and, you know, keep throwing punches. So we're always excited for this game. It's always one of those games that, you know, we circle on the schedule. This is going to be a big one for us. Trey. Yeah, Nathan, has uh, Dominic, has he been working just with the tight ends or has he worked tight end running back? And, and where is he going, like meeting room? Uh, he's been with both, um, as far as the field and then with running backs in the meeting room, but he's done a good job wherever he's done. He's embraced every step of it. And, you know, he's always been a team guy. So 
I expect nothing less from him, you know, as far as embracing the role that, you know, he's going to assume on Saturday. You think that could be a big transition for him? I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it would be for anyone. But, you know, um, Dom's one of those guys is always going to put the team first. And like I said, he's going to embrace it and uh, take it step by step. And he's done a good job, um, you know, doing it from running back and now doing it from tight end. So he's he's done a good job doing both. Kaji, what's your thoughts on him working um, at a little tight end also? Uh, like Nathan said, I mean, he's basically a team player. I mean, he's willing to uh, put the team first. Uh, just knowing that Luke went down and, uh, I mean, we got his opportunity at this point. So, I mean, just him being able to step in and give us uh, a look at him at tight end, just see, do is he comfortable there? Um, and just the play calls that we have that to bring him in and do different things with him. And just knowing that he has a great football sense of IQ and just knowing that certain plays are meant for him to be in and stuff like that. So it's always good having a guy that always put the team first and just love being a team player and just knowing his role as well. Yeah, Jay, I know back in the spring, there was, you know, probably a lot of thinking with different players at different positions with the new offense and stuff. How do you guys feel right now? I mean, is there any double thinking or I don't know if double thinking is a real phrase, but is there any thinking twice about stuff or, um, you know, not being able to just kind of react and stuff like you, you'd like to? Not just you, but the whole offense, skill guys. Uh, that's pretty frustrating at times, of course. I mean, just knowing that uh, we have some uh, a lot of uh, talent on the offensive side of the ball, and when things not going our way, it kind of get frustrating at times. But I mean, it's football. I mean, it, it's it's a roller coaster. I mean, so we want, the main thing we want to try to take control of the roller coaster and stay level headed, stay neutral, make sure we bring everybody close together, and just stay together is the main part when we hit adverse situations, uh, just coming together as a team and bonding as one. So on the offensive side, I mean, it do get frustrating at times, but as long as we keep our heads and keep uh, keep chopping away, I mean, it's going to eventually start falling in our favor. Thanks, guys. Daniel? Y'all have worked five weeks under Coach Enos. Just how's that been going so far and the comfortability with him? It's been going good. I mean, Coach, you know, it's a very intelligent guy. Uh, he comes up with different uh, schemes and schematics uh, each week in, week out. And, I mean, he's, he's a, just an intelligent guy, great coach. Um, bring a sense of urgency, urgency to the team, to the offensive side of the ball. Uh, and he harps big on uh, – he emphasizes details a lot. I mean, so just – you know I mean? He know, he's been around great teams and great players, and he know what – our level of talent that we have and a, a team that we have on the offensive side of the ball. And he just expect greatness from us each and every time we step out on the field. So it's been good so far. Bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.